Welcome to the section on report management. Cognos is more than just building and running reports. It's keeping all of your business intelligence tools that you build organized so that way various departments of your organization can have quick, secure, and easy access to the data they need most. In this section, we're going to start off with managing our reports and staying organized. Next up, portal tabs and using portal tabs for report distribution. After that, running reports with some tips and tricks for running reports. Next, creating views, where you have one report with many uses. And finally in the section, we're going to end with scheduling, so you can get your reports when you need them and in the manner that you need to get them in. So starting off this section, we're going to look at organizing our reports. Under the Go Data Warehouse Analysis folder, I'm in Report Studio Report Samples if you want to follow along. So you'll see we have a number of different folders and I have over 25 entries but as you can see the arrow to the right is highlighted so that way you can go to the next page. That's too many reports for me, I'd rather stay organized. So let's go ahead and create a new folder and I have a number of reports that relate to returns. So let's go ahead and scroll on down here and we have return, return, a number of different return related reports. And I think I've got one more up here, Customer Returns and Satisfaction. So I'm going to select all the reports that I want to put into this folder. And I'm going to click the scissors to cut the reports. And I'm going to go ahead and paste them into this folder. Now let's go back up a level. Clean up a little bit. So let's go ahead and create a folder for revenue reports. Go ahead and click Finish. And now we'll select Eyewear Revenue by Subsidiary, Sales Commission, Sales Growth. And right off the top of my head, that's good for now. So let's go ahead and click Cut again. And we'll navigate into the Revenue Reports section and click Paste. So now let's go back up level. And you can see that our main directory under the Data Warehouse is cleaning up quite a bit. So let's go into the Properties. Here, if you want to rename a folder or a directory, you have the option to do that too. You can also put a screen tip that gives people a little hint as far as what's going to be in that folder. And you can also add metadata in the description, which may help for searching or just additional guidance for future users down the road. If you want to hide a folder from users, you can click on the checkbox Hide This Entry. You can also disable the entry as well. If you ever want to give users a link to that particular folder, you can click on the View Search Path ID and URL, and you can highlight this particular URL and email it to or IM it to a particular user. Also, while we're in here, you can look at the Permissions tab, and here's where you'd grant permissions to grant or deny access to an individual or group of individuals. Again, using the payroll example, you could deny other users access to the payroll reports unless they're in the payroll group. So this is what you need to do in order to stay organized in Cognos. The more users you have, and the more the larger your organization may be, may actually create more and more report sprawl, but staying on top and having and being very organized with your reports is going to pay off down the road.